Hi everyone, my name is Ava. Today will be a an hour practice with 45 minutes vinyasa flow for beginners in their first trimester. After that, we will have a 15 minutes guided meditation with a restorative pose. Please get your Get your props for the practice. You may need two blocks, two yoga blocks, one or two for support. And we, you may need two bolster or pillows and a blanket when you practice the meditation. So let's begin. In a hero pose, coming to your knees with your big toes, uh, big toes together Bring your feet flat on the mat and gently sit on your heels. Take a deep breath in. Feel the expansion of the chest, the abdomen, your upper back. And exhale through the mouth. Ha. Release all the gas, all the air in the body. Release all the tensions and come back to your natural breath. Remove your block, bring your toes, big toes to touch and bring your knees wide as the mat and seat again on the heels to come into a child's pose. Walk your, walk your fingers further as far, as far as you can. Round your back. Feel the tension in your scapula, your shoulder blade, in your neck and your spine. And take one more deep breath here. Press into the ground, run into the back and exhale, release. Rest your elbows, your forehead on the mat. One more time, inhale, round the back, wave your palms on the mat, extend in the spine and your neck, and exhale, release, forehead on the mat, gently push yourself back to a tabletop position. Bring your hips uh, over the knees and shoulders over the wrists. Hold your core, gaze forward, few rounds of the cacao, any version of the toes. Inhale, gaze up, chest forward to cow pose. Exhale, round the back, gaze to navel, press into the ground with your hands to cat pose. Inhale to cow pose, arch the back. Exhale to cat. Inhale, curl. Exhale, round the back to cat. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale to cat. Last time. Inhale to cow pose. Exhale to cat. And come back to center of the tabletop position. Notice your core is engaging. Keep your keep your back. Keep your back like a table, a, a, a flat table. And from here, tap your toes, extend the right arm to the front parallel to the mat. And right leg upward. <laughs> and right leg up, parallel to the ground, press your heel backward. Stay here for five breaths. Hold your core. Notice your muscles engaging in this pose. Engage your all the muscles. Press into the ground. Extend from the fingers tips to the toes. Last breath. And exhale, release. Switch to the other side. Right arm up. Your left leg up. Engage the leg muscles. Lift the kneecap of the lifted leg. Gaze forward or to the mat. 
again five bars here. Notice your you're drawing a straight line from your fingertip to your heels. Two more breaths. Keep holding your core. And gently release. We will come to a float here. Just lift your right arm up, uh, left arm up, right leg. Inhale, extend, and exhale. Bring the knees to touch the elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale to touch. Inhale, extend. Exhale to touch. Two more times. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to touch. Last time, inhale, lengthen. Exhale to touch. Release to tabletop to the other side. Raise, raise your right arm, your left leg. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to touch. Touch the elbows to the knees, round the back. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale to touch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to touch two more times. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And gently release the palms and feet. Bring your big toes to touch wider your knees and sit back to a child's pose. Rest your palms, your forehead on the ground. Notice how you create the space for your abdomen. Throughout your, throughout your pregnancy, you will need more space in your child's pose for your tummy, your growing baby. Notice how your body can be adjusted for throughout your pregnancy in your yoga practice. Gently come back to a tabletop. Tuck the toes and press I can't touch the toes and lift your hips to a downward dog. Step your heels up and down to try to lengthen in your back leg. Press the fingers, hips, the knuckles on the ground. Lengthen your shoulders and spine. Gently walk the feet outside your hands so your feet is about a mat distance and gently lower your hip to a yoga squat. You will bring the palms inside your knees, uh, palms together to press the knees away from you or from the center. If you can't find balance here, you may use a block. You may sit on a block or one block or two block to help you get into the pose. Two more breaths here. Long spine. Gaze forward. And gently release. Remove your block and come to a forward fold bring your knees uh, bring your feet parallel bend into the knees palms on the mat rest your abdomen on your thighs relax the tension in the neck maybe rock it side to side yes or no and inhale to a flat back gaze forward you may press your fingertips on the ground or bring your hands on to the thigh. Come on. <laughs> Gently bring yourself up to a mountain pose. Let's come into a sun salutation before we get into some flows. We will practice uh, one set of the sun salutation classic. 
Let's come into your mountain pose, feet parallel at your hip distance, palms forward, gaze forward, settle yourself here, bring your mind back to the practice, palms together, inhale, lock arms up, maybe a gentle bed bend, exhale, fold forward, palms on the ground. Inhale, step the right leg back, lower the right knee, gaze forward, chest forward. Hold your breath, step the left leg back to plank. Exhale, lower the knee, chest and chin. Inhale, press, keep your elbows into cobra. And tuck the toes, exhale to downward dog. Inhale, bring the right leg to the front, lower the left knee, chest forward. Exhale, bring the back toes forward to two forward fold. Inhale, bring the arms all the way up to a micro breath bend. Exhale, Sama CT, hands to heart center. One. And then to the left side, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, left leg back. Left knee down, chest forward. Hold the breath, step the right leg back to plank. Exhale, lower to knee chest chin. Inhale to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes to downward dog. Inhale, bring the left leg front, lower the right knee, chest forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up. Maybe a micro breath bend. And exhale, hands to heart center. Release the uh, palms facing forward. Notice your breath. Notice the energy you're creating in the body. You may always widen your feet, uh, your stance for more stability throughout the practice. Let's come into a tree pose. Lean your, lean your body weight. Lean your body weight to the left leg. Bring your right leg up. So to the inner thigh, anywhere is fine. Your inner thigh, your, your shins, or on the ground in your ankle, anywhere in your tree pose. You may bring the palms to the heart center. From your tree pose, or any version of your tree pose, step back to warrior one. Your front seat facing forward. Your front knee, uh, front knee is bent, facing the same line to your uh, front toes. Your back leg is extended. Turn your back toes slightly forward to your top corner of your mat. Ground your all four corners of your front and back hip, uh, foot feet. Turn your torso and your hips forward. You may stay here, bring your palms to the heart. Notice your torso stacking over the pelvis. Open the, open the, open the hands, open the arms to cactus. Inhale, open the chest. Arch the back. Imagine you're squeezing your, your shoulder blades together. And exhale, close the front body round the back. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, round one more time. Inhale, open. And exhale, close. Shift your body weight to the, to the, to the front leg. Uh, bring your heels up of your back leg. Come into a warrior three. Strengthen your front leg. Notice your 
body weight balancing with your torso and your back leg from your crown of your head to your to your back leg the heel is a straight line and exhale bring your right leg down gently and come into a high lunge your back toes are uh, your back heel is up strengthen both legs active bring your right palm down next to in uh, next to the left feet open your left arm up to a twist notice how the body weight spreading with your hands the feet the tip of the toes and gently the other hand on the ground step back to a downward dog walk your feet notice any sensation any different in both legs again come walk your your, your feet to the front to come into a malasana a yoga squat again your option with a block or without a block two breath here gently release to a forward fold bring your feet to, uh, parallel at hip distance release the neck release the shoulders gently roll yourself back all the way up and exhale to a mountain pose let's come to the other side bring your weight to the right side <laughs> and your lift your right uh, lift your left leg your version of the tree pose feel breaths here notice the energy grounding through your right leg and step release uh, left leg step back to a warrior one with the right leg in the front check your alignment your front knee is pointing forward your back leg straight bring your palms together in the heart center we do some cactus here as well open the arms to cactus arch the back squeeze the shoulder blades together inhale and exhale round the back close the front body inhale open and exhale close one more time inhale open and exhale close bring your palms to the heart center and gently bring your weight to the right leg come into come into warrior three slightly bring your left leg forward start to lean forward with your upper body and lift your left leg notice your right leg is straight and and strong your active legs active body gently release back to warrior one and lift the back heels come into a high lunge bring your left hand down and open the right arm to a high lunge twist notice the energy gently bring your palms on the mat step the right leg uh, back to downward dog stay in your downward dog take a deep breath and exhale press the heels towards the mat one more breath and exhale 
lower the knees, your version of child's pose, bring the back toes together, arms forward, lower the forehead on the mat. Notice again, is there any different sensation to the previous child's pose? Inhale, inhale, walk yourself and uh, bring yourself to the top of the mat. Come to a mountain pose from the top of the mat. Palms together at the heart center. Bring your feet parallel or feet together, your version. Lower the, lower the hip to sit in your chair pose. You may keep your arms in your heart center or bring your arms up, gaze forward. Notice the energy, your strong thighs. In your chair pose, open your arms. In your chair pose, open the, okay. open the arms and turn, uh, open the arms like a T shape and turn your upper body with your feet not moving. Turn your upper body to the right and come back to center and then to the left side. Hold your core and your legs very strong and come back to center again to the right. Center to the left. And gently come back to center. Palms to the heart center. Inhale, come to a mountain pose. Release the palms. You may walk the feet. Release some tensions we just create. Notice how strong you are. Okay, come to stillness. Step back the right leg. Come to a warrior two. Your, your back leg straight. Front leg pointing forward, your knees and toes forward. Open the arms parallel to the mat. Adjust your angle. You may like a wider stance or maybe today your body like a shorter stand for stance for warrior. Gaze forward. Release. Uh, release the shoulders. Relax the shoulders and neck. Inhale, flip the palms, come into reverse warrior. Open the front body, gaze forward or gaze to the side. Exhale, draw the circles with your arms, come into a side angle pose. One more time, come back, warrior, a reverse the warrior. Exhale to side angle. Open the side body. You may bring any versions of your palms. You may rest your you may rest your left elbow on the knees, your thigh. Maybe you like to bring the palms on the ground, any version that is fine. Keep breathing here. Inhale, come back to center to a warrior two. Lengthen your front leg, engage both legs, and lean your body forward. Lower your palm on your feet or on the block. Extend, uh, roll the right shoulder to the side. Extend the right arm up to a triangle pose. 
throughout the pre uh, throughout the pregnancy, your your tummy will get bigger and bigger. You may need more space for your tummy, but then you may like to uh, lean uh, more upward for uh, to create space for if you uh, experience more tension in your hips and your thighs. You may just stay here for the triangle pose. Now come back to center. Turn your feet pointing forward to the long side of the mat to a star pose. Turn your toes a little outward. Arms to cactus, lower to goddess. Sense your pelvis. Keep your long spine. Inhale to star pose. You may uh, come bring the Gaian Mudra here. Bring the index finger and the thumb to touch. Exhale to Goddess. One more time to star. Exhale to Goddess. And gently come back to center. Bring your feet facing to the front and bring your toe, uh, feet together to the top of the mat. Palms together or rest aside in mountain pose. Let's come to the other side. Step back to a warrior two to the other side, to the left side at the back. Check your alignment, check, check your body how your body feeling here oh, open your torso to a warrior to gaze to forward to the fingertips relax the shoulders strong legs two breath in your warrior two flip the palms Inhale and exhale, release, uh, come into reverse warrior. Your left, left, right, left, left hand on the left leg. Right arm up, open the side body. And exhale, your left el uh, right elbow on the right knee. Bring your right arm up to a side angle. Again. Come back, inhale, and to reverse warrior. Exhale, to side angle. Why? And inhale, come back to center, to warrior two. Extend the front leg. Notice if you have to adjust your stance wider or closer, for your triangle pose. Keep your arms long, lean forward, lower your right arm on your right leg, turn your left shoulder, and extend the left arm up. Two breaths in your triangle pose. And Gently release, bring your torso up and lower to a warrior two. Turn your torso to the front and bring your palms to the front. Touch your back toe, step the front leg back to downward dog. Any movement that you need right now, gently lower the knees on the ground and come back to a sitting position. And then we will come into a wide leg for four. If you're a beginner, if you never practice this pose, I recommend you come into your wide uh, Y stance of the legs and then bring your legs a little bit closer because during the pregnancy your 
body is releasing a hormone that will loosen your joints and ligaments. So we don't want to push to the limits of the flexibility during the pregnancy. When you're ready, ground your both seat bones on the ground. Uh, engage your legs, press the heels up and your heel up. Bring, <laughs> press the heels forward and bring the toes up. Inhale, you may stay here to sense uh, the body. How's your body feeling? If you cool with this, you may walk the hands forward to engage and, and engage the legs. Release in the lower back. Take two breaths here. And gently bring yourself back to center. Bring your left, uh, bring your right feet inward. Inside uh, your feet, inside the left, left thigh. Keep your left leg extend. Turn your torso to the right leg and gently lower. Uh, bring your right arm up and side stretching the right side body. You will bring your elbow inside the left leg to keep your torso turning to the right side. Keep reaching toward. Notice the side body. Notice your both seat bones is grounding. And inhale, come back to center. Now bring your right leg over the left leg. We'll do a twist here. Um, bring your knee co close to the chest and your right arm down. Inhale, lengthen the left side. Bring your left elbow over. The, the knee and lengthen in the spine and twist to the right side. Keep breathing here in the e every inhale, lengthen the body, lengthen the spine, your neck, and exhale, try to twist more to the right side. And finally, your, turn your head, your neck, And inhale, come back to center. Release the legs, shake it side to side, or maybe reach your wiper. And we come to the other side. We send the right leg and bring your bend the right knee, uh, bend, bend the left leg. Bring your left, left, <laughs> left, left sole, left feet to find your in the right thigh. Bring your right elbows inside the right leg. Inhale, expand the left arm up, stretch over the right left side body. Open up the rib cage. Keep breathing here, keep reaching forward. During the pregnancy, you may experience some tension in your abdomen because your baby is growing inside your abdomen. There, there will be tension in this area. You may use this stretch throughout the pregnancy to ease out the tension and release the tightness in the side body. Inhale, bring yourself up to center and to the trees. Cross your left leg over the right. Left palm down. Inhale, right arm up. Twist to the left side. And when your your tummy getting bigger, you will find your lack of space in the trees and your heart to twist when your tummy getting bigger and bigger. So by then you may just lower 
your knees or just bring your feet on the mat and come into a gentle twist. But now as you're in your first trimester, trimester your fetus, your little baby is still in your uh, pelvic bowl, is really secure inside your, your pelvis, so you're able to do anything you want. As usual, excuse me, but you may like to incorporate some props in your practice as well. And gently come back and release, maybe shake the legs. And we will do a half bow pose together. Come into the center of your mat for easy version. Bring your, bring your block between your feet, uh, press your feet into the block. For the easy version, you may bring your palms behind you, press your, keep your torso long, and lift your block. Lift your legs, your block, keep holding your block, feeling the engagement in your thighs, your core. If you're good here, you may lift your palms. Notice your palms, your, your arms, and your shins in parallel, making a V-shape with your thigh and your torso. Engage in your core. Three more breaths, keep going. Holding your holding tight your block in your arms, your shins. One more breath and exhale release. Shake the legs. And then we will come into <laughs> and and then you will lay down for a supine twist. Lay down on your back, hug your both knees, shake your body, rock the body side to side, and lengthen your right, lengthen your right leg, bring your left leg, left left knee towards the chin or your armpit, and exhale, bring your left leg to the right, open the chest, you may release the right arm to the left. Release the left arm onto the left side. Gaze to the side, uh, to the left side or to the ceiling. Just gently release here. Release all the tensions. Let your body go wherever it likes to go. Gently come back to center. Hug the both knees and rock it side to side. Extend the left uh, left leg. Bring your right leg close to the chest or to the armpit. And release the right leg to the left side. Anywhere it likes to go, open the right arm. You may close your eyes, feel the body. Just release any tensions and stress. Let go of the tensions, your thinking mind. Gently bring your right, uh, uh, right leg back. Hug both legs. And then you may rock it front, back and forth, and come to a seated position. <laughs> And from here, the Vinyasa practice is complete. You may bring your pillows or bolsters to a restorative position. If, if you have two bolsters, you may create an inclined position with one in the, one at the base and one at the top. 
bring your sit bone close to the edge of the top edge of the bolster you may keep your blanket you may bring your blanket close to you so that you can cover your your body from here you may extend the legs straight and then lay down this is option one option two you may bring your legs to a butterfly pose if you are coming to a butterfly pose bring, bring your feet together anywhere any distance from your sacral use blocks to support your knees to let your knees both knees fully supported so that you you don't uh, take uh, there's it uh, you don't risk your joints during the practice we will stay here for about 15 minutes for the guided meditation you may close your eyes release any uh, thoughts any stress here uh, you may use a blanket to cover yourself let's come into the restorative position with me you may bring the palms anywhere inside the fly or palms over the the chest and the and the stomach and the tummy anywhere that feels good for you gently soften the body soften the gaze close the eyes the following there will be a guided meditation just keep breathing throughout uh, keep breathing through the nose with no judgment let yourself settle forget about what you just practice forget about what's the dinner for tonight or breakfast or for tomorrow just bring yourself back to this present moment let yourself settle in the pose settle with your body bring some organic movement if you need to make yourself 10% more comfortable bring the awareness to your natural breath you may bring your left palm over the heart right palm over the tummy notice how your body moves with each breath from here forget what you did in the yoga practice bring your attention your awareness inward just notice the breath here your natural rhythm of the breath no thinking no judgment just breathe here as your body wish inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose notice in the inhalation your chest your ribs expand even your stomach and tummy expand in the exhale the chest fall the tummy fall you feel a relaxation in your body use each exhale to release tension let go of the thinking mind just notice without judgment notice how your body softens your mind relax keep noticing your breath now welcome your intention of this practice 
any intention, anything you would like to get through this practice. There is no a right answer. You may just simply relax, feel calm, peace in this practice. Keep noticing your breath with your intention. Breathe in your intention. Use the body to sense the intention. Where can you feel the intention in your body? Just notice. Notice and welcome your inner resource. Your inner resource is what makes you feel safe, secure, at ease, and peace. Your inner resource can be anything. It can be a person, an emotion, a place you visit, an experience, anything. Welcome your inner resource and breathe in your inner resource. With your breath, experience the inner resource as a radiant sensation. This sensation is shining throughout the body. When you keep breathing here, bring the awareness to the face, to the jaw, the nose, the lips, both eyes, the eyebrows, center of the eyebrows, your forehead, top of the head, back of the head, back of the neck, Notice the base of the skull. Your skull is tough and protecting your brain. Bring the awareness to the back of the skull, your back of the neck, connecting to your spinal cord. Bring your awareness Move down to the spine. In your upper back, your rib cage is tightly connected to the spine. As you inhale, feel the lungs, your rib cage expanding. Notice each heartbeat. Notice your heart is safely embodied inside the rib cage. Keep breathing and notice the radiant sensation throughout the body. When you inhale, notice the diaphragm Push downward with your internal organs in the abdomen. Notice their expansion, how they move in your abdomen. Bring the awareness to the lower back, all the way down to the pelvis. Notice your glutes, notice your hip area, notice your pelvis is safely, firmly grounding on the mat. The pelvis is a board, bony structure. Bring your awareness to the spine again, your spine 
your base of the spine is connected to the pelvis. Your pelvis holding the whole upper body all day long. It's a very strong structure. Bring your awareness inside the pelvis. Notice the organs settle inside the pelvic bowl. Inside your pelvic bowl, there is your reproductive organs. Can you visualize the organs inside the pelvis? Visualize the uterus, the placenta. Inside the placenta, there is watery fluid. Visualize the little fetus, the growing baby, inside the fluid. Visualize the growing baby, settle inside. Safely in your pelvis. Bring your awareness to the both legs. Can you visualize your leg muscles, your bones? You have a very strong body, very strong legs. Notice how your legs and your bones, the muscles, keep the body upright all the day. Bring your awareness to the knees, back of the legs, heels, ankles, the feet, the toes. Tip of the toes. Keep breathing, and let your radiant sensations shine throughout the body, each bones, each muscle, and shine through the skin. Inhale through the nose. Feel the expansiveness and energy get in your body, throughout the whole body. In the exhale, can you let go of the tensions, worries, and let the body be heavy? Keep breathing like this. Inhale, bring in the energy. Feel the spacious of the body. And exhale, brush away the tensions, worries. Keep breathing. Inhale. And exhale. Notice the body is fully supported. Notice your body getting heavier, like a stone. Your body would like to sink in the mat, even sink in the earth. Notice how your body is supported by the earth. Welcome your inner resource again. Notice how your inner resource resides in your body. Your body is supported and expansive. In each inhale, can you welcome the inner resource? and feel it 
with your whole body. You can now feel the inner resource as a sensation shining throughout the physical body. Notice your inner resource resides inside your physical body. Keep breathing. Bring your awareness to your physical body. Notice how you and the growing baby are at ease, peacefulness, and secure. When you're ready, allow the eyes open. You may blink the eyes a few times. Notice the surface supporting you, the environment around you. Welcome the sounds, objects around you. When you're still feeling the sensation, the radiating sensation inside your physical body. Let your eyes fully open and bring yourself back to the present moment. Notice how you and your growing baby are at ease, peace, and secure. You may now gently bring some movement in your hands, your feet, roll the neck side to side. Gently come up to sit upright. The practice of the meditation is now complete. I invite you to journal about this experience of the meditation and the yoga class, the vinyasa flow, anything you experience in this practice. Notice how your body and mind change during the pregnancy. If you like, you can come back to this practice anytime to find your peace and ease for your mind and body. When you're ready, gently open the eyes, extend the arms and extend the legs, shake it side to side, any movement you need in the body. And gently, slowly bring yourself up to a comfortable seat. You may cross your legs, extend the legs, anything you feel great in your body. Bring the palms on the thigh. We are going to end this session. Bring your palms together in the heart center. I wish you all have a great pregnancy, a healthy pregnancy and a baby. Namaste. If you have any questions for this video or this practice, please feel free to email or drop a message to reach out. And uh, if you wish, we, we shall create a community group for the practitioner or to other students, to other expecting mothers. 
So and yes, so before you come back uh, to your daily life, please go uh, drink some warm water or warm tea and treat yourself, make yourself great. Thank you.